Whether you consume, sell or produce egg and poultry products, we can all agree that we want to produce them in a way that is best for the bird. Like you, poultry farmers care about the well-being of their flocks and they take great care to provide a safe and healthy environment. Farmers take the obligation to care for their birds seriously. You've likely heard the phrase pecking order. Pecking is a normal part of all bird behavior, whether to establish hierarchy in a flock or out of natural curiosity and exploration. Gentle feather pecking is considered normal and generally doesn't cause a problem. In severe or aggressive feather pecking, however, feathers are pulled and even removed. Besides being painful for the bird, it can lead to skin trauma and may draw blood, leading to cannibalism and death. Feather pecking occurs in all housing and with many breeds of poultry. Severe or aggressive feather pecking is a greater risk for the well-being of the bird when birds have the most contact with each other, such as in free-range and cage-free housing. As the number of birds kept in non-cage and free-range systems increases, aggressive pecking may become an even bigger challenge. Despite years of scientific research, experts haven't yet figured out how to prevent aggressive pecking behavior in poultry. Farmers and university researchers are actively seeking to understand the underlying causes for aggressive pecking and cannibalism through research, but we do not yet have the answer. Today, what is best for the birds is to proactively prevent injury from aggressive pecking. Effective beak treatment produces a correct beak shape for the bird so that it will be able to eat and drink normally while preventing aggressive birds from injuring or killing other birds in the flock. Using modern technology, beak treatment is an effective technique to prevent injuries from pecking and bird-on-bird -bird aggression and is an essential tool in maintaining the highest standards for on-farm welfare. Very simply, beak treatment blunts the end of the beak, preventing birds from injuring each other by pecking. Today's technology allows accurate treatment using a beam of infrared light. At the hatchery, chicks are placed into specially designed portals on the infrared machine. Each chick's beak is inserted into a highly reflective cylinder where a halogen bulb emits a single flash. The lens concentrates the beam, which is focused on the tip of the beak. The treatment takes approximately 1.5 seconds and a plate safely protects non-targeted areas such as the eyes and other soft tissues from the infrared energy. Research shows beak treatment when done on day of hatching by trained personnel with the right tools does not cause long-term pain or trauma to the birds. Can you tell which of these chicks has been treated with an infrared beak treatment? It's the one on the left. Here you see the beak of a bird which has had its beak treated as a day-old chick. As an adult, its beak looks normal and allows the bird to forage but does not have a sharp tip that could injure other birds. Within two weeks of treatment, the sharp hook of the beak will soften, as you see on this young turkey. Then wear away as the bird drinks, eats and uses the beak normally. Later, the tip of the beak appears normal with no sharp tip. Here is a duckbill just one day after treatment and three weeks later. Other practices such as genetic selection, nutrition and house management are also key to minimizing the potential for aggressive pecking or cannibalism. But that is not enough and beak treatment is a necessary tool to proactively prevent pecking and cannibalism. Proposed bans on beak treatment would have very serious consequences for bird welfare. Allowing untreated birds to aggressively attack others in the flock is inhumane. The slight short-term discomfort a chick may experience is far outweighed by the serious physical damage it would suffer should aggressive feather pecking and cannibalism break out later in the flock. Multiple studies have shown proper beak treatment can cut flock mortality in half. In this study, mortality was reduced from 13.7% in the non-beak treated birds to 7.1% with infrared treatment. A recent study designed to learn how to manage birds without beak treatment had to be interrupted when aggressive pecking broke out, resulting in 15% and 20% mortality in two study flocks and requiring emergency beak trimming. Handling individual birds for emergency beak trimming on the farm is difficult and inefficient. Prevention with day-old beak treatment is a much better long-term strategy to prevent cannibalism and stress within a poultry flock. The reality is that until science can explain and predict the underlying causes of feather pecking and cannibalism, responsible beak treatment is the most humane solution for this serious welfare issue and ultimately what is best for the birds.